And this month's race for Tokyo's next governor is heating up. The city's previous governor, Naoki Inose, resigned over money scandals. And the elections took an interesting turn when former Prime Minister Morihiro Hosokawa announced late in the game that he would be running and would be backed by another former Prime Minister, Chunichiro Koizumi. Both former leaders were involved in scandals of their own while they held office in the 90s. Here's Link Asia's Nicholas Ito with the latest information. The new leader will inherit the tough job of being the official face of Japan's capital and dealing with a wide range of issues such as social welfare, energy policy, jobs and the looming Olympic Games. But Hosokawa's candidacy seems to have infused an interesting variable to the contest. A former prime minister, Hosokawa left office after just nine months in 1994, embroiled in a money scandal. Hosokawa's basic platform is opposition to nuclear power. He's been endorsed by another former prime minister, Junichiro Koizumi. Known as a lone wolf, Koizumi enjoyed a rare and popular five-year term, marked by being at odds with the old guards of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party. Voters still view him as a particularly outspoken and strong-willed leader. Because of their respective legacies, the two have also been met with a fair amount of criticism. Hosokawa's money scandal is often cited as a proof that he isn't fit to govern Tokyo. This tweet said, After former governor Naoki Inose resigned because of problems of politics and money, how strange is it that Mr. Hosokawa, who also quit for the same politics and money issue, is announcing his candidacy? Many say that the future of nuclear power is a national matter and should not be the focus of the Tokyo elections. This blog response says, The household budget, the Olympics, nuclear waste of the future. The priority of the ordinary citizen is something that looks like this, indicating that there are more pressing matters at hand. Opinion polls do show that nuclear energy is down on the list of voters' concerns. Some do not believe that bringing the nuclear debate to Tokyo elections is a good strategic move. This blogger writes, to go zero nuclear is similar to promising tax increases because if you lose all the nuclear plants, there is high possibility that the price of electricity will go up. Opinion polls and social media comments show Hosokawa's supporters are strongly opposed to nuclear. This blogger agrees that the nuclear plant issue is absolutely an issue in the hands of the metropolitan government and points out that its citizens are the largest consumer of energy in the country. Other anti-nuclear voters recognize the power that the duo may have, in particular against the current national government. This user says she used to hate Koizumi, but now she supports Hosokawa because the question is who to vote for to end the Abe government's stampede and stop the restarting of the nuclear plants. A recent poll by the Tokyo Shimbun indicates that a whopping 93% of Tokyoites intend to vote compared to a mere 62% in the last elections. It may be an indication that citizens are looking for a breath of fresh air in the city's next leader. Polls also show an increasing number of Tokyo citizens are against nuclear power. Despite this, opinion polls show a former health minister, Yoichi Masuzoe, ahead of Hosokawa and the rest of the field. Masuzoe is strongly backed by the governing LDP and its main ally, the new Komeito party. Masuzoe's support comes from the interest a majority of Tokyo voters seem to have in healthcare and welfare policies. But polls also show a large minority of voters, perhaps as high as a third, are waiting until the last minute to make up their minds. And Nicholas, before you go, who's winning the battle on social media? Hosokawa has an active website and Twitter account, mostly updated by his staff. However, he has only about 30,000 Twitter followers and his Facebook page also lacks likes, compared to some of his competitors. Many people are reaching out to him in the comments though. Interestingly, his backer, Junichiro Koizumi, is more popular on social media, having gained almost 100,000 followers in less than a month. Nicholas, thank you. That was Nicholas Ito in Tokyo. Now on US Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.